Welcome again to the whiteboard session. Today we're going to talk about the pathway to weight gain. Statistically, we have 85% failure rate to most people that try to lose weight. 90% of people that try to lose weight in two years time, they put on back all the weight that they lost plus fat. I want to take you through why you put on the weight that you put on and why the strategy that you've been employing does not work for you. Most people, when they look at themselves in the mirror or they try to put on their skinny jeans and they realize that they've put on weight, they are in a reactionary mood. The first thing they do is cut down the amount of food that they eat. And the second thing that they do, of course, is buy a gym contract. But you forget that you do not put on weight overnight. The person that is overweight now is not the same person that was thin a few years or a few months ago. So you have to take, stress those steps back. Look at those steps backwards and realize what happened. What are the habits that you've developed and grown along the way that have turned you into this person that you are? Because if you do not understand those habits, all that happens, you start clashing and fighting against yourself because all of a sudden, the environment that you're in because of the habits that you formed has shaped the personality that you become. Now, I need the personality to shape the environment that you live in. So I will take you through the steps that you go through for you to end up where you are. And by doing that, I'm going to reverse engineer this and be able to give you a solution, not only to lose those 12 kilos in 12 weeks, but to keep off all that weight that you put on. We live in a very stressful times, and anything that makes you uncomfortable, irrespective of whether it's good or bad, your body sees it as stress. And any time your body is stressed, there is a whole a neurological and a hormonal response. Let's look at animals. Animals are instinctive. Or let's even go back and look at our great great grandfathers that lived in those dangerous times. When he woke up in the morning, he was under the stress of the next, next door neighbor or villagers attacking his village, not only to rape the women, but to take the cows and kill the men. So when they woke up, they were always on constant alert. Or when he's going out hunting, he stands a very big chance of being bitten by a snake and dying on the spot. But when he came back home, the stress automatically went down. So automatically, these people lived with the stress on and off. But the biggest problem with most of us is we live in a very stressful environment. And this stress is continuous. It doesn't go away. What are the causes of stress in our lives? Number one here is work. Most people, if you look at the Gallup uh, research survey done, 95% of people don't like their work. Two, relationships. Look at the divorce rate. Most of our relationships are breaking down. Three, money, finance. Two out of three people are broke. Four, work environment. All these people are, co all these things are causing constant stress now on top of this add things like social media now you can see you constantly under stress so for the first 12 to 48 hours when you are stressed with this what happens in most cases you become uneasy and you get shocked have you ever come home and say i can't believe i ate that i can't believe this weekend i didn't get enough sleep so for the first 12 to 48 hours is enough your body can be able to take care of that but the minute now you extend it, the minute this gets extended into 21 days, it's no longer a shock. You start getting worried. You start talking about, this is worry now. This is worry. This is shock. Now, all of a sudden, you start saying, I need to do something. I need to change. I'm going the wrong path. Most of us talk about it, but do nothing about it at all. So what happens after one month, all of a sudden, this turns into anxiety. You become anxious. You're anxious to go to work. You're anxious to go back home. You're anxious at the end of the month because you don't have enough money to pay bills. 
Anxiety in most cases leads to the most common thing most of us know, panic attacks. All of a sudden, your body starts playing games on you. But now if you extend it, the minute you live under the same constant onslaught of stress for 60 days plus, this one becomes totally different. And this is where all of a sudden, your own body becomes your unconscious mind. Your body starts to shape your personality. Your body starts craving sweets. Your body starts craving expensive things that you can't afford. Your body starts craving those affairs. Now, all of a sudden, it's your body that is telling you what to do. Now, if you don't come back, if you don't understand these steps, and you start attacking your weight loss from here, all of a sudden you say, I have to lose 12 kilos in 12 weeks and you haven't gone through this. When you get here, most people get into a reactionary. You want some kind of control, reactionary mode. When you get into a reactionary mode, how do we do this? Most of us, we start dieting. And in most cases, this is always yo-yo dieting. We start borrowing money, debt. Running away from affairs, we start having affairs. All of a sudden, OCD. Same thing. All this becomes coping mechanism that you can't control. Addictions. So if you want to win this, and I'm going to narrow this down purely to weight loss, we're going to have to go back here. We have to take away the why. What is causing that constant stress in your life? Have you changed your environment? Have you changed your home and your home position? Let's use an example of a television set. If you go to most people's lounges, the couches are arranged facing the television. So automatically when you go in and you sit, automatically you have to watch the television. But what happens if I come in and change the couch to face away from the television? I've already changed the same setup but I've changed that. For you to turn that couch to watch the television is not going to work. So we have to go back here and face whatever it is that we're running away from. And as a consequence, this will automatically take care of itself. That trying to lose weight, weight gain, is a symptom. And when we try to face the symptom, take away the symptom, it becomes a band-aid solution to a gazing wound. It doesn't matter how many times you dress it still inside it's still fuzzy it's smelling and it's getting infected so at dream body fitness we focus more on the why rather than the how i'm not interested in how much weight you lose i'm not interested in how fat you are i am interested what happened and when did you become this new person i have to take you back to the thin person the healthy person that you were before so if i can get you healthy physically spiritually mentally of course as a byproduct, the weight will come down. Hope to catch you soon. And don't forget that you can find us on Dream Body Fitness on www.dreambodyfitness.co.za. See ya.